Welcome, my friends, to an extraordinary journey through the treasures of biblical wisdom in finance, investing, and management. Get ready to unlock the secrets that can transform your financial well-being and propel you towards abundance. In this captivating video, we will dive into the powerful principles of the Bible and uncover the keys to financial success. So, buckle up and join us as we embark on this inspiring adventure, where ancient wisdom meets modern-day prosperity. Get ready to revolutionize your financial future with the biblical principles of finance, investing, and management. As we dive into the realm of biblical principles of finance, investing, and wealth, let us explore the profound insights and wisdom that the Bible offers us. These timeless verses provide invaluable guidance on how we can navigate the complexities of our financial lives while remaining faithful to God's purpose for our wealth. Let us begin with Proverbs chapter 21 verse 20, where we are reminded that wisdom lies in storing up choice food and olive oil, rather than hastily consuming everything we have. This verse encourages us to embrace a mindset of prudence and planning, carefully managing our resources for future needs. In Proverbs chapter 13 verse 11, we learn the significance of gathering money little by little, understanding that diligent and honest efforts lead to financial growth. This verse emphasizes the importance of consistent and ethical wealth accumulation, rather than seeking quick but unsustainable gains. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 cautions us about the dangers of indebtedness, as it states that the borrower becomes a slave to the lender. This verse encourages us to exercise prudence in our financial decisions, avoiding excessive debt that can hinder our freedom and autonomy. Turning our attention to Matthew chapter 6 verses 19 to 21, we find a powerful reminder to prioritize eternal treasures over earthly possessions. This verse urges us to focus on spiritual wealth and invest in heavenly pursuits, recognizing that material possessions are temporary and susceptible to loss and decay. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 10 poses a thought-provoking question. Whoever loves money never has enough. This verse reminds us of the futility of relentlessly pursuing wealth for the sake of accumulation. True satisfaction and fulfillment come from a contented heart, not an insatiable desire for more riches. In Luke chapter 16 verses 10 to 11, we are challenged to demonstrate integrity and faithfulness in managing even the smallest amounts of wealth. This verse teaches us that our character and trustworthiness in handling worldly wealth reflect our readiness to handle true riches. Let us remember to approach finances with honesty and honor. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 19 highlights the rewards of hard work and diligence in working the land. By diligently applying our skills and investing effort in worthwhile pursuits, we can experience abundance and provision, both materially and spiritually. The Apostle Paul, in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, warns us about the perils of loving money, for it can lead to a variety of evils. This verse reminds us to maintain a healthy perspective on wealth and prioritize our faith over worldly desires. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 9 to 10 encourages us to honor the Lord with our wealth and the first fruits of our harvest. By acknowledging God's provision and giving generously, we invite His blessings into our lives and experience abundance beyond measure. Lastly, Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22 highlights the importance of leaving a legacy. As good stewards, we are called to not only provide for our immediate family but also leave an inheritance for our children's children. This verse emphasizes the value of generational wealth and the impact it can have on future generations. These biblical principles of finance, investing, and wealth offer us profound insights into managing our resources with wisdom and integrity. By integrating these principles into our lives, we can experience financial well-being while remaining faithful to God's plan for our wealth. Join us in the next section as we explore the wrong ways to acquire wealth based on biblical principles. Understanding these warnings will guide us toward making wise choices and avoiding the pitfalls that can hinder our financial journey. In our journey to explore the biblical principles of finance, investing, and management, it is important to recognize the warnings and cautions provided by the Bible regarding the wrong ways to acquire wealth. These principles shed light on the potential consequences of pursuing wealth through unethical or dishonest means. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 20 reminds us that those who are eager to get rich without considering the ethical implications will not go unpunished. 
This verse warns against being driven solely by greed and the insatiable desire for wealth, as it can lead to negative outcomes both in this life and the next. Dishonesty and ill-gotten gains are strongly discouraged by Proverbs chapter 13 verse 11. It teaches us that dishonest money dwindles away, while those who gather money little by little through honest means experience true growth and prosperity. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 22 serves as a caution against the stingy mindset and selfishness. It highlights that those who are eager to accumulate wealth without considering the needs of others may find themselves facing unexpected poverty instead. The Bible also warns about the destructive nature of greed and corrupt practices. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 27 reminds us that the greedy bring ruin upon their households, while those who hate bribes and dishonest gain will experience a life of integrity and blessing. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 9, we learn that the relentless pursuit of wealth can lead to temptation, traps, and harmful desires that ultimately result in ruin and destruction. This warning reminds us of the importance of keeping our priorities aligned with God's wealth and not allowing the pursuit of wealth to compromise our character and faith. Jesus himself, in Luke chapter 12 verse 15, cautions us to be on guard against all kinds of greed, emphasizing that life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. This powerful reminder redirects our focus to the true source of fulfillment and happiness, which lies beyond material possessions. The Bible consistently teaches us to place our trust in God rather than in riches. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 28 reminds us that those who trust in their wealth will ultimately fall, while the righteous will flourish like a green leaf when their trust is in the Lord. Jesus encourages us to seek God's kingdom and righteousness first in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. When we prioritize our relationship with God and align our actions with His will, He promises to provide for our needs. This reminds us of the importance of seeking spiritual wealth above material possessions. Generosity and kindness toward the poor are highly valued in biblical teachings. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17 and Proverbs chapter 22 verse 9 emphasize that when we share our resources with those in need, we lend to the Lord and experience His blessings in return. The Bible teaches us that true wealth is found in giving and serving others. These principles serve as a reminder to pursue wealth in a manner that aligns with biblical values of honesty, integrity, contentment, and prioritizing relationships and spiritual well-being over material possessions. By adopting these principles, we can create a solid foundation for our financial journey that brings about blessings and fulfillment in all areas of life. As we move forward, let us explore the 10 right ways to acquire wealth according to biblical principles. These principles will guide us towards a path of financial well-being and prosperity, rooted in wisdom, integrity, and generosity. As we continue our exploration of biblical principles of finance, investing, and wealth, let us now delve into the 10 right ways to acquire wealth according to the teachings of the Bible. These principles offer practical guidance and timeless wisdom to help us build a solid foundation for financial success. Principle number one, diligence and hard work. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 reminds us that lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. The Bible encourages us to work diligently and give our best efforts in our pursuits to acquire wealth. Principle number 2, Honesty and Integrity. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 1 emphasizes the importance of honest dealings, for the Lord detests dishonest scales. Integrity should guide our financial interactions ensuring fairness and righteousness in all our transactions. Principle number three, wise financial management. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 20 advises us to be wise stewards of our resources by storing up choice food and olive oil. This principle urges us to practice budgeting, saving, and responsible financial management. Principle number four, investing in diversification. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 2 encourages us to diversify our investments and ventures. Just as we sow seeds in different fields, we are advised to wisely invest and spread our resources to mitigate risks and maximize growth. Principle number 5, Seeking God's Wisdom. James chapter 1 verse 5 reminds us to seek God's wisdom in our financial decisions. By humbly asking for His guidance, we can tap into His infinite wisdom and make sound choices that align with His will. Principle number 6, Generosity and Giving. Proverbs chapter 11 verses 24 to 25 teaches us the principle of giving. 
When we give freely and generously, not only do we refresh others, but we also experience blessings and prosperity in return. Principle number 7, Contentment and Avoiding Greed. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 encourages us to be content with what we have, rather than being driven by the love of money. By finding contentment in God's provision, we can avoid the pitfalls of greed and materialism. Principle number 8, Seeking God's Kingdom First. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 instructs us to seek God's kingdom and righteousness above all else. By prioritizing our relationship with God and aligning our actions with His purposes, we allow Him to bless our financial endeavors. Principle number 9, exercising patience and avoiding get-rich-quick schemes. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 20 cautions against being eager to get rich, as it can lead to negative consequences. Patiently building wealth through legitimate means and avoiding shortcuts is a principle to uphold. Principle number 10, trusting in God's provision. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 assures us that God will meet all our needs according to His riches. Trusting in God's provision and recognizing Him as the ultimate source of our wealth brings peace and security. These principles offer a balanced and godly approach to acquiring wealth, encompassing diligence, integrity, wise stewardship, generosity, contentment, and trust in God's provision. By incorporating these principles into our lives, we can build a solid foundation for financial success and experience true wealth that extends beyond material possessions. In the next section, we will explore how to manage our wealth and resources according to biblical principles that are relevant to today's world. Join us as we uncover practical strategies for financial management that align with God's timeless wisdom. Now that we have explored biblical principles of finance, investing, and wealth, let us dive into practical guidance on managing your wealth and resources according to these timeless teachings. The wisdom of the Bible provides practical insights that are still relevant in today's world. Principle number one, stewardship. Recognize that all wealth and resources ultimately belong to God, and we are called to be faithful stewards. Just as a responsible caretaker manages a valuable estate, we are to manage our resources responsibly, avoiding wastefulness and making wise financial decisions. Principle number two, budgeting and planning. Create a budget to effectively allocate your resources, plan for expenses, and save. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5 reminds us that diligent planning leads to profit, while haste leads to poverty. Principle number three, avoid debt and practice prudent borrowing. The Bible cautions against excessive debt, for it can enslave us. Live within your means, avoid impulsive borrowing, and honor your financial commitments. Principle number four, generosity and giving. Embrace a lifestyle of generosity and giving. By sharing our resources, we not only bless others but also experience blessings. In return, allocate a portion of your wealth for charitable purposes, helping those in need, and supporting the work of God's kingdom. Principle number five, seek wisdom and counsel. Seek wisdom from God's word and wise counsel from trusted individuals when making financial decisions. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22 reminds us that seeking counsel leads to success. Principle number six, diversification and risk management. Spread your investments across different assets to minimize risk. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 2 encourages diversification, for we do not know what disaster may come. Principle number 7, contentment and avoiding materialism. Cultivate contentment and prioritize spiritual and relational wealth over material possessions. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 encourages us to keep our lives free from the love of money and be content with what we have. Principle number 8, ethical and honest business practices. Conduct business with honesty, integrity, and fairness. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 11 reminds us that honest scales and balances are from the Lord. Principle number 9, plan for the future and retirement. Save and plan for the future, including retirement, to be prepared for unforeseen circumstances and to care for yourself and your loved ones. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 20 advises us to store up for the future. Principle number 10, trust in God's provision. Ultimately, put your trust in God's provision and seek His guidance in managing your wealth and resources. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 assures us that God will meet all our needs according to His riches. 
By embracing these principles, you can manage your wealth and resources in a manner that aligns with biblical values, promotes financial well-being, and positively impacts your own life and the lives of others. Remember, the Bible provides practical wisdom that is relevant in today's world. In the next section, we will conclude our exploration of biblical principles of finance, investing, and management. We will recap the key takeaways and encourage you to continue seeking God's guidance in your financial journey. As we come to the conclusion of our journey through the biblical principles of finance, investing, and management, let us reflect on the key insights we have gained. The wisdom of the Bible provides us with practical guidance for achieving financial well-being and aligning our practices with godly principles. We explored Bible verses on finance, investing, and wealth, discovering the importance of diligence, honesty, wise stewardship, and seeking God's wisdom. We learned about the wrong ways to acquire wealth and the potential consequences of pursuing wealth through unethical means. We then delved into the 10 right ways to acquire wealth, covering principles such as hard work, integrity, generosity, and trust in God's provision. These principles encourage us to pursue wealth in a manner that reflects biblical values and brings about both material and spiritual blessings. Furthermore, we explored practical guidance on managing wealth and resources, including topics such as budgeting, debt management, ethical business practices, and contentment. These principles provide a solid framework for financial management that aligns with biblical teachings. Now, it's time for you to take action. I encourage you to reflect on your own financial practices and make necessary adjustments to align with these biblical principles. Consider areas where you can be more diligent, honest, and generous in your financial decisions. Start by creating a budget that reflects your priorities and helps you allocate your resources wisely. Seek God's wisdom in your financial decisions, and don't hesitate to seek counsel from trusted individuals who can offer guidance and support. Embrace a lifestyle of generosity and giving, recognizing that true wealth is found in sharing and blessing others. Practice contentment and avoid the traps of materialism and greed. Remember, it is God's provision that sustains us. As you apply these principles in your everyday life, you will experience a transformation in your relationship with money and wealth. Your financial decisions will reflect your commitment to honor God and bless others. I invite you to embark on this journey of financial stewardship and trust in God's provision. Embrace these biblical principles and watch as your financial well-being and spiritual growth go hand in hand. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of biblical principles of finance, investing, and management. May you find fulfillment, prosperity, and joy as you apply these timeless truths in your own life. Remember, the path to financial well-being is not just about accumulating wealth, but also about living a life that reflects the love, generosity, and wisdom of our Heavenly Father.